It was a short 15-minute phone call between President Barack Obama and Iranian President Hassan Rouhani. For the first time in more than 30 years, the countries are trying to talk, and three American lives wait in limbo as the president negotiates for their freedom. The wife of Saeed Abedini waits patiently tonight with renewed faith and hope. Her husband has been in captivity for over a year in Iran and was recently sentenced to eight years in prison. But last Friday, his fate, along with two other captive Americans, a topic between President Barack Obama and Iranian President Hassan Rouhani. This is a great sign of, uh, for me and my family, it means we're so much closer to seeing Saeed released and brought home back to Boise. Nagme says the 15-minute phone call has been the best news she's had throughout the ordeal. I'm hopeful that they would release them. Uh, it seems like with Iran really looking for, uh, looking to um, work with the U.S., that this would be a great gesture by releasing not only Saeed but other Americans that are, you know, that are in prison in Iran. Nagme Abedini and the couple's two children have been unable to have any contact with Saeed since his arrest last year. Saeed's parents still live in Iran and visit him on a weekly basis through a glass window. They send her updates every Monday. Do you believe the U.S. is taking this very seriously and um, they're watching Iran very closely and to see if they follow through with what they're saying and with their moderacy and taking action? And so I do believe the U.S. government uh, will be watching very closely and following up very closely to see if what they will do. She spent much of this year traveling, promoting efforts to free her husband, but often her travels take her from her kids, something she describes as exhausting. She has not had a chance yet to sit down and tell them what this phone call could mean for their family. Nagme said she does not know when the next round of talks about her husband or his release will occur, but she and her children will continue to hold out for his return. Live in studio, I'm Nicole Pineda, today's six on your side.